Is it still there in America? Definitely. In fact, America still works. I think the uh, message that has to get out is regardless of economic times, America still works. One must remember we started John Paul Mitchell Systems in 1980. In 1881, inflation was 12.5%, unemployment 10.5%, right. prime interest 17%, and you wait in line to get gasoline. And that's how we started with $700. I mean, within the product development, some would say you've struck lightning twice. I mean, they don't even know about the House of Blues ownership you had a million years ago and all the other things you've done. How did you do it twice? Everybody else would have coasted after Paul sure. Mitchell. Well, there's a formula. The formula is, one, whatever your product or service is, it has to be so good you are not in the selling business. You're in the reorder business with your Wait, with that's your what product. I did with Patron Tequila. That's it. Reorder, <laughs> exactly. That's it. And then you maintain that quality yeah. throughout the period of time. And also, of course, it's the quality. I mean, we may be good marketers, but boy, the quality of the product really stands out. And another thing, too, that our customers like, whether it's Patron, Paul Mitchell, or John Paul Pet, is the fact that we give back. We take a considerable amount of our profits and make the world a better place to live because we are here. And that means a lot to our customers. They're not just investing in a darn good product, they're also investing in people that change you, the planet. You, Sarah, they test their pet care product on humans first. Yeah, me. <laughs> yeah. me. Oh, cool. Yeah, me. Well, and, what, what, and I don't have fleas or ticks. <laughs> it works, works pretty good. What's interesting we, <laughs> to me, Tom has fleas and ticks. What's interesting to me is yeah. that. You've built a successful hair care company, yep. tequila company, yep. pet care company, yep. and diamond company. Yep. What is the common thread with all of these businesses? They seem very distinct. Yep. They're, they're distinct, they're fun, they're exciting, and there's something I'd like to get into because I think they have a good future, and they make a statement. Example, all of our diamonds are cruelty-free, meaning they're conflict-free diamonds. Oh, we, come on. You know where they're mined? Oh, yeah. We do it through the Kimberley Method. The Kimberley Method is an organization in England that looks at where they come from and gives it their official stamp. Okay. Yeah. It's called the Kimberley Method. John Paul, I need to ask free. you, because you're famous for going over and speaking with your customers, speaking with your distributors. Yes. Uh, how do you work with technology, though, with the landscape changing so rapidly, rather than being swallowed up by it? Boy, did you ask me the right question. I don't do email. By choice. Email. Nope, by choice. Neither Steve Cohen. Exactly. What do you yeah. mean? I don't do email. In other words, I don't turn the computer on. I would rather pick up the phone and call you or write you a little letter and be more personal with you. For me, if I had email, I'd be fully inundated with the 10 companies that I have. Fully inundated. S Secretary you Gutierrez, know, do we need more John Pauls in Washington? Absolutely. I mean, I, I think the lesson is that there are very few categories that cannot be turned around. That's correct. I, I remember when tequila in, in Mexico was like vodka in the Soviet Union. Yeah. It was just a commodity. When now, did you First, I'm going to make some news here. When did you first have tequila? Seven oh, I, or eight was, years I was probably 18. <laughs> I was of that drinking was age. <laughs> oh, <very laughs> <good>. <laughs> but it was the kind of thing that you wouldn't, you know, you'd get brandy, you'd get scotch. Sure. Now people are drinking tequila and soda instead of scotch and soda. It's quite remarkable. So is your growth coming from people who are being introduced to tequila, or is it continued uh, usage among folks it's who a, know? Yeah, it's a combination of the two. A lot of our customers are brand new customers that said, well, my first experience with tequila wasn't that good, but wow, this is right. different, okay? And a a lot of others are people that try Patron, liked it, wanted to try other brands, and all of a sudden came right back to yeah. Patron because yeah. the overall. Right. So we, we're growing double digit. John Paul, I want to switch gears. They have both of you here. You're with Greek and immigrant heritage, yes, and of course, Cuban heritage. There is Ellis Island in San Francisco. Yeah. There is Angel Island. The secretary writes a letter with 100 Republicans today saying to the Republican Party, wake up. What would you say to the Republican Party? What I would say is to everybody, if, if it wasn't for immigrants, I wouldn't be here. I'm first generation American. I'm all for letting people come into our nation the same way my parents did, but to do it properly with some regulations there. In other words, give them a right way to do it. Don't just stop. And that's what you're saying in your letter. Exactly the process. right. Yeah. We, we need a legal system that works. A legal set, and very important, one that works. And it's like America works if the no disrespect, the government would step aside and let us work. Yeah. You know? Well, and that's a key point, and that's <laughs> really the, the theme, people. I would say, of Bloomberg Surveillance today with the Correct. president in Chattanooga touting job creation by Amazon, our nation's jobs report on right. Friday. You are the private sector. You are the job creator. Oh, yeah. What do you need from Washington right now? 
get out of our way. Absolutely. Yeah, and I can say this one, okay? I hire people not to be laid off. I've never laid anybody off in any of my companies. But we give people a responsibility of two or three people, not just one. The human being is so capable of doing so much. They have more fun, it's more exciting, and we never lay anybody off. How many off. people do you employ? Oh, God, with all the companies, it's in the thousands. I've never added them all up. You know, it's in the I think the answer is so good. What thousands. should government do? Get out of the way. Stop strangling yeah, businesses yeah, exactly. with new regulations. Yeah. Just, just stop it. You or I have another one for you, too, with all due respect, once again. Let us help you run your business, okay? There are people there, no disrespect to our president, he's never run a lemonade stand, but he's a good guy. He means well, he wants to do good. But let us business people get in and show them how to do it. You were inextricably entwined with a culture of California. You could move to Georgia tomorrow, and John Paul DeJore is still about California. What does California need to do to keep that magic? Well, I've been living in Austin, Texas for 13 sure. years. However, However, we have our major business there with Paul Mitchell and others in California. What they need to do is, one, get out of people's way, let private industry take care of some of the things they're trying to take care of with, with themselves, where they're spending money foolishly. In other words, step back, let private business take it over. I'll give you a very fast example. I know I'm running out of time here. Appalachia, 150,000 families unemployed on food stamps. I went in there three years ago, private sector, started grow Appalachia. 15,000 of them are eating out of their own gardens right now. And the goal is to go to 150,000. So, in other words, show people how to help themselves, and that's what we do from the private sector. We'd love to do it with you know with our administration. Uh, you know, give us a chance. Let us get in there. Absolutely. If you have to pay us, Absolutely. give us one dollar. You know, save your get, money and just get out of the way and yeah, stuff. Let, let us help you. Let us help you in there. You're all good guys, but let us help you. We know what we're doing. We've hired people before, and we don't lay people off. We know we know what the trick is.